Car buffs, feast your eyes and ears on the latest bit of tasteful engineering and sophisticated design from Britain's classiest car brand, Jaguar. This is the new F-Type, and it's sort of like a Velociraptor in a tuxedo. It's all teeth and claws and howling and snarling, but proper and gentlemanly and handsome. This new two-door launched last year to glowing reviews and is currently flying off dealer lots around the globe. This one's the convertible, which is fancy, though a coupe version was recently made available too. This motorized top takes a hike at the flick of a switch in a few seconds and doesn't require you to play Tetris with the things in your trunk since it has its own hiding place and doesn't use up any cargo space, so there's room for a few groceries or, in our case, bags of camera gear as needed. Inside, it's detailed and trimmed with the sorts of materials you'll find in an expensive furniture store and has a striking asymmetrical layout to the dash. Classy is the word of the day in here. It's probably the most well-done cabin I've ever seen in a car like this. Just rich. Heck, even the carpet is gorgeous. Climate control vents pop up when you turn them on. The instrument readouts turn red in dynamic mode, and if you look closely, you'll spot details like the Jaguar plaque cleverly applied to the air vent adjusters. You'll see it in the headlights too, if you look closely. So the F-Type's price tag is supported fully by the thoughtful little details and touches throughout the striking body and stunning cockpit. There are even some thoughtful touches in terms of how some of the features work on this thing, like it remembers if you left it in, say, dynamic mode, or what mode you left the exhaust in, or whether you've turned eco mode on or off, or how you left the spoiler. A lot of cars with these features, you got to kind of go in and turn them back on every time you start the engine. This one remembers, and actually when you put it in park and take off your seatbelt, it shuts the engine off, assuming you're going to leave. In fact, it's so thoughtful, they even include this bottle of luxury leather cleaner, which is good if you say get nuked from orbit by a seagull, which in a convertible is a legitimate concern. Now, I don't know if you can see this little spot back here, but I actually had a close call with that earlier today. Of course, you can outrun a flock of evil poop-filled birds if you need to, thanks to a pair of supercharged engines. The tester got a 3.0-liter V6, good for 340 horsepower, though an available F-Type S model makes that 380. Go for the big boosted V8 and you get 495. Even with this little engine, though, my tester was a rocket. Creamy smooth torque everywhere, loves to work, and leaps ahead at every squeeze on the throttle. It should be all most drivers will ever need. All models get an 8-speed automatic with lightning-fast manual mode via steering wheel mounted paddles. There's no stick available, and though for my taste, the F-Type has a few too many gears and is missing a clutch pedal, that 8-speed box shifts in a GIF and help the engine turn in surprisingly good fuel mileage. And this entry engine has something else going for it too. If there's one company that really, really, really gets exhaust noises in sports cars, it's Jaguar. In fact, I'm going to put the camera back there on the tailpipes and let you have a listen to what this thing sounds like. If somehow that noise ever gets old, you can switch dynamic mode off, which quiets the exhaust, calms things down, and readies you for a lengthy drive in completely refined and relaxed comfort. So it's like having two cars in one at the flick of a switch, on top of already having two cars in one, depending on the position of the roof, which nearly turns the F-Type into a proper coupe, thanks to a fully finished look and blocking plenty of outside noise. It doesn't sound like you're driving a big tent down the highway at speed. While there, the aerodynamics and the rubber seal and drainage system around the windshield keeps you dry even if it's raining a little. And if not, since the roof works at speeds up to 50 clicks an hour, you don't need to stop and put it back up. And then you get to um, accelerate again. However you drive it, the F-Type backs you up for absolute performance enjoyment. If you happen to take yours to a track, which you should, you'll find the brakes and steering and that gorgeous engine are all dialed in to work off of each other's capabilities beautifully. Brakes bite hard and fast with minimal pedal work. The steering is on the heavy side but quick for an easy going but locked on attitude. And even with velocities cranked past 150 clicks an hour around some bends, the chassis feels composed and predictable, not twitchy and intimidating. It's a confident playfulness here and all of that with an appreciably good ride quality and noise levels top up or down. Of course, there are other ways to drop over 80 grand on a top-line two-seater. The Porsche Cayman Ass is one. It's a screamer, does 7,500 glorious RPM, makes nearly as much power as the Jag without a supercharger, and looks like a baby supercar. Then there's the new king of go-fast bang for the buck, the Corvette Stingray. For 22 grand less than the starting price of the Jag, this Chevy gives you 115 more horsepower, killer looks, and no shortage of race engineering technology, plus a not-too-shabby exhaust note as well. 
mileage on my watch saw 1245 clicks burn through 106 liters of premium unleaded which makes it 11.8 liters per 100 kilometers which is worth every penny for the performance the f-type turns out so let's sum up this four-wheeled two-seat super classy supercharged supermodel on wheels What's hot? Great performance, that glorious engine sound, a slick drive line, a beautiful cabin, half-decent utility, and even surprisingly good gas mileage and ride quality are all big draws here. Entry and exit can be tight for bigger folks. The suede seats are a little too grippy for easy sliding, and the price tag may be prohibitive for some bank accounts, including mine. Those after looks, luxury, performance, and presence with maximum classiness, a great convertible roof, and a delightfully obnoxious exhaust note and dazzling cabin can check out the F-Type from 77. There's only one way to finish this episode, I think.